Hi, so if you are the you're one of the person that upgraded the Mac OS to the latest that is 12 and 12 and something that is Monterey or Montre, which French people call it. So if in that case, your Ethernet most probably stopped working. So first of all, of course, physically, you can see which Ethernet adapters are adapter you're using. So in my case, I'm using the StarTech one. So you could physically, of, of course, find out. So one easy way to find the model of the Ethernet is that you can go to about this Mac option from here. You, so if you click on about this Mac, you will see the system report button. So you click on this, you will see something like this. So you, you click on the USB and there you will see the different USB having different, uh, different, you can say peripherals, for example, for one USB port, I have mouse. For other, I have this device. That is DKT 30 CHV. Now, I, you know what I did is I went to the website of the other company of what I am using the adapter, for example, here. Then I could easily search with the with the with the code that I have or the model number. So 30 CHV. And if I click on it you will see that you have this port or this adapter that you have so what you need to do is go to drivers and downloads click on mac usb network adapter not for the windows of course you click on it it will download now after downloading what you will see is you will see something like this you will basically see actually the the zipped version so when you click on it when it will be unzipped you will see different for different mac os versions so of course you are interested in mac os 12 point 12 point something one or something so you click on it and you try to double click on it or try to open when you will open it you will see something like this so when you will click on open you will have two things that is the uninstaller and installer so when you will try to uninstall it will show you actually how to do that for example if i open this so here you will see the yeah so here you will see something like this so first of all what you need to do is you need to follow the instruction first of all the instruction is you need to unplug your device so you you, you do you should not only unplug the ethernet cable from the adapter you should unplug the complete adapter from the mac itself then you should click on activate while it is not there while the adapter is not connected and then of course you will see something like you might get a message most probably you will get a message of system extension block so what you need to do is you just need to go to settings and you need to click on security and privacy here of course it will ask you for either password or whatever and here you will have other option here so you just need to here there will be a single button of course i cannot show it here because i already did it so i don't want to match it again so you just click on it and there will be two check boxes like this you just click on both check boxes and then you are good to go now after you did that then you need to follow the last that is reboot your system most probably after click on those check boxes it will ask you to reboot your system itself so when you will reboot reboot it try to let it reboot like try to completely turn it on and then what you need to do is you just need to plug the adapter with the ethernet cable inside insert it and then you are good to go so the same same workflow a uh, same flow i followed and my mind stopped start working i was there for three to four days or even you can say one week i was thinking about which one to buy should i buy the mac or the apple original adapter or something but after trying this it started working and i don't need to buy anything so it started working if you have any questions related to this or this procedure then kindly let me know in the comments comment section is always open and we are good to go so thank you for watching and of course if it helps you kindly subscribe the channel that would be great bye